Hey friends, it's Tracy today. I am bringing you some Valentine DIYs. It's also a special day because I'm collaborating with my sweet friend Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start. I'll tell you about that a little bit more later, but let's go ahead and jump into these Country Valentine DIYs. I'm starting out with one of the love letter blocks from the Dollar Tree, as well as some antique wax from Waverly. I picked that up at Walmart. I just brushed it on uh, because the letters were curved and I had to get into those little grooves. And then I just took a baby wipe and just wiped off the excess. This project is inspired by Pinterest. And I will have my pen inspiration linked in the description box below. Okay, this uh, frame is also what I'm using. It's from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to be dry brushing on some white Waverly chalk paint. And that also comes from Walmart. And uh, I just, like I said, just kind of brush that on. This frame, it had like a wood grain look, but it actually is plastic. So it didn't take too much paint and I just kind of wiped it off. It was a little slick, but it was okay because it gave me the look that I was going for. For the inside or background of my frame, I'm using this polka dotted red and white paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I just traced that out and to attach it, I'm just using my Elmer's glue stick on the back of the cardboard, like the insert of the picture frame. And that is what I'm attaching my paper onto. For my middle heart, I'm just using one of these off of a garland from Dollar Tree. And uh, the paper, it says love all over it. I thought it was perfect and uh, inspired, of course, by the pen that I pinned on Pinterest. Uh, that paper, I'm, it was in my stash, so I'm not quite sure where I got it from. I apologize that I can't tell you because uh, I've had it so long. Anyway, I took my sanding sponge and I tried to uh, sponge, you know, sand all of the glitter off, but it was just way too much. So I just decided to flip it over on the back and just use the back. And so I tr uh, trace that out and what I'm going to, uh, to attach it to, I'm using the Mod Podge heat transfer method. If you're not familiar with it, you put Mod Podge on your uh, surface and then dry that. Well, I used my heat tool, uh, or you could use a hair dryer, dry that, and then, um, put the paper on it and I used some parchment paper and then I used a mini iron. My mini iron is my Cricut mini heat press uh, or you could use a real iron or you know like a big a regular size iron or they sell little mini irons at Walmart. I've heard they've sell them on Amazon as well as Joanne's craft store. Then I just took my brown ink pad and just went around the edges just to give it some distressing or some shading. Then I took my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just went around just to give it some doodling. I just I just did a squiggly line and two, then two lines the other way, a little squiggly line, two little lines. Uh, I like that look and uh, like to add it to my country projects. Then to enhance the love letters a bit more, I have a very old, very loved brush that has lost some of the bristles and I use it for thin, extra thin lines. And uh, I get asked about this small brush all of the time. It's just something that I've had for a long time. As I said, it's lost a lot of the bristles. And so therefore I just have just a couple of bristles to work with and it just works great when I have just small spaces to add some doodling. A country project would not be complete without some splattering. So I take my white paint and my stiff stencil brush and just add some splattering on my love letters just to complete it for my country valentine. I will put the backing uh, back into the frame and then I will glue on the letters first just making sure that I get the placement that I want I just attach that with hot glue and then I will glue on my heart I watch you as you 
I had one of these three inch rusty hearts on hand in my craft stash and decided to use it for the middle of the heart. I just kind of bent up the edges a bit and just hot glued it in the center so that it kind of, you know, uh, was up on the sides a bit. Then now I'm going to make a messy bow, junk bow, refab bow, whatever you want to call it. And I just have just different trims and laces and ribbons and also some red and white pit berries that I got off of a garland from Hobby Lobby. I've just put all of this together, just crisscrossing the trims and ribbons just to make a bow. I'm going to secure it all with a pipe cleaner. I get a better hold that way. I just twisted everything together and then I'm going to uh, glue it in the middle of, you know, the top middle of my frame. And this project is going to be complete. Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? Today's a special day because I'm collaborating with my sweet friend Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start. If you're not familiar with Catherine, she loves to do Dollar Tree DIYs, home decor, trash to treasure, thrift to treasure and seasonal decor. Her channel is loaded with tons and tons of wonderful DIYs. She's just getting started with her YouTube channel. So guys, if you uh, are from my channel, go over and check her out because she is going to have some country DIYs as well. If you're coming from Catherine's channel, welcome. My name is Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. I hope you'll consider subscribing and sticking around and joining my little family. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. For this project, I'm using one of these jars from the Dollar Tree, as well as some of this black and white buffalo check paper from Hobby Lobby. Now, uh, to get started, I took a strip of this polka dotted red and white uh, fabric and just cut off a strip, ripped it so that I would have the ragged edges, and then just tied it around the neck of the jar and tied it into a bow, and then I will just trim it off with my pinking shears. I just measured the paper wide enough so that it would fit in the jar and then I didn't worry about trimming it off uh, because I just rolled it up and then just kind of let it go in the jar and it just kind of, uh, you know, looks, it, it, it just kind of curled on itself and, uh, I didn't have to worry about cutting it exactly. And so that worked perfectly. Then next, I'm just going to insert some Excelsior. I like the fine Excelsior that I find at Joanne's craft store and insert that it gives me the wispy look that I'm going for. I love that. Now these flowers are beautiful mini ranunculus from Walmart. I also have some baby's breath that I also picked up at Walmart and I'm going to cut off a couple of these stems and put them into the jar. I'm not going to glue them only because if I want to reuse this for another season or for another craft, then I don't have to take it apart. It just works perfect. And that fine excelsior is what holds it into the jar. For the B mine sign, I'm using one of these chalkboards that I got also from Dollar Tree and a white paint marker. This is a 1M a uh, Posca pen that I got off of Amazon and I just write be mine. I'm leaving a small space on the right side because I want to put a heart sticker on there just to add that extra Valentine touch. Now also I'm going to add some of these uh, mini picks that I picked up also from Dollar Tree. They're gold, pink, and red. I put a couple of those in the jar and this little project is complete. Let me tell you, I love this so much. I love decorating with these little jars. They're perfect for tier trays or just small shelf sitters. Oh, 
how much I love you. You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. Calling all my truck loving friends. This truck is turned out so cute. And let me show you how I did it. This wooden truck is from Dollar General and it comes with this little stand that you can put on to display the truck. Uh, to paint the truck, I am using just some black acrylic paint. I gave it two coats of the black paint. Now, initially I did not paint the hearts, but once I started working with my scrapbook paper, I figured out I wanted to add that. And so I go back and I paint the truck and the hearts all black because that's going to be my base coat and then I'm going to be doing some shading on my truck just to give it some white shading and then for the hearts what I did is I just took uh, one of the uh, like a just a, for a template I just went through my stash and pulled out a heart that was kind of the right size and then I just picked out different coordinating red and black uh, scrapbook paper everything came from Hobby Lobby of course my favorite store and uh, I just you know took my time and I just kind of uh, traced out the heart patterns and so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to use the heat transfer Mod Podge method like I did earlier and that you've seen me do before I love attaching scrapbook paper to my bases this way and I hope that you find it helpful as well Looking, and I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? To add some white shading to my truck, what I am using is a quarter inch flat paintbrush. I dip half of my brush in white acrylic paint and the other half in clean water and then I blend on a paper towel and then I go around the edges of my painted projects. This is how I shade my projects and uh, I just blend on a paper towel. I like to use these shop towels that you can get in the automotive section of any store. I just, uh, they're a little bit thicker and I like them for my, uh, when I paint my projects and use in my craft room. Together. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. I'll go back and add a bit more heavier uh, shading and highlight to the fenders uh, because I want them to be a bit more defined. I'm looking with you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. On this truck for the white walls of the tires, I am just going around the small cutout heart. There's a little bit of attachment to, uh, you know, that has a little bit more space for the heart. That kind of makes this look like the white wall of the tire and it blends everything together. To adhere the hearts, I was going to use the heat transfer Mod Podge method, but it didn't work. I'm showing you, you know, I, I did it, but they didn't stick. And I don't know for whatever reason. So ended up later on in the video, I go back and I use my Fabri-Tac glue uh, to adhere all of these hearts down onto the back of the truck. Now, uh, like the hearts, I didn't trim off the part where, you know, it kind of hung over because I thought, oh, I'll get that off with my, uh, my little knife, my utility knife. And that didn't work either. That stuck down. I even tried my uh, nail file to file it off. So uh, it was no problem because I used some Rick Rack ribbon to hide it and everything worked out just fine. What I'm showing here is I'm just going around the edges uh, and just adding some 
shimmering silver metallic paint around the white walls of the tires uh, and just to enhance the doorknob as well as the front and back bumpers and the headlights. For any paint that uh, I got a little too thick or I covered up something, I'm taking my very thin, very loved Missing Some Bristles brush because it's very thin and I go back and dip it into white paint so that I can clean up any of the, like if I got the silver a little bit too much on the white. And I left this in to share that, you know, when you paint, accidents are going to happen or things are going to happen and you just kind of figure out how to fix those kind of mistakes as you go along. And like I like to encourage people who want to learn how to paint, it's just paint, just, you know, just do it. And I just love seeing all of your creations. God has given me these gifts and talents to share with you. And I am so grateful and blessed that so many friends are uh, liking this style of painting and want to learn more to do it and so I want to encourage you to do it okay so just using that same brush I'm just going around and just adding some details to the truck the beauty is in the details you will hear me say that and so I do that just by adding just some lines they're not straight they're kind of cattywampus and it just really just brings the truck to life now I'm going to add some splattering and uh, I really like this look. It's what I do. I protect my, uh, you know, table because it is a little messy. Here I'm showing you, uh, I had put just some highlights in the red hearts as well as the black hearts. I just put some swooshes in there. Okay, this I have just a white paint pen and uh, on for the door, I didn't get this on film, but what I did is I just put uh, some shading just like a rectangle just to give it where it looked like a sign for the door and I'm just hand lettering I love express I, love you. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I dance around I can't help this is the spray varnish that I used for my truck so just sharing this and I got that at Michael's okay then now I am just pulling out a few of the uh, pink red and gold picks that I got from Dollar Tree just pulled them off they came right off the stick and uh, there are some like heart cutouts in this uh, truck that I did not want to use so I'm just covering those holes up with these wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree and then I will take a couple of red shimmery sparkly stickers and just put them on the hearts that are on the truck you don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete do you know how much I love you I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I this cute Rick Rack is from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to freeze frame screen so you can screenshot that if you want to see if it's still available. I've had it for many years, so I'm not quite sure if it is. But this red with the uh, white polka dots is so cute. And so what I did is I just put, uh, just using my Fabri-Tac glue, I just put it on the edge where the hearts meet the truck and that uh, mistake with the paper and all of that was kind of hidden behind this cute rickrack. You know me, I need to add a little bit more sparkle. So I have this red stickles, which is glitter glue. And uh, I find that at the uh, craft store in the scrapbooking section. And so I'm just going around the heart on the hubcap. And then I'm just going to go around the Love Express sign just to give a bit of glitter and dimension and just make those areas uh, pop. I decided not to have this truck put on a stand. I am going to make a sign out of this, probably for a wreath. And so I like to use these 10 inch circles that I pick up from Hobby Lobby. Also this black and white Buffalo check paper is from that paper pad. I am going to use the Mod Podge method, uh, iron that on. And so I just put, you know, a good coat of Mod Podge on this circle. I let that dry, or actually I heat, used my heat tool to dry that. 
And uh, then I'm going to, uh, you know, cut out the circle. And then I did put the Mod Podge, attach it, adhere it to the circle using the heat transfer method. I added some doodling around the circle with my uh, fine Sharpie marker. And then I uh, put two strips of that same red uh, and white polka dotted rickrack one at the top and one at the bottom and then I'm going to put the truck in the middle oh, I'm looking, and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up I like to lift up my wooden projects for my signs and I do it with different things. Uh, I usually like to use the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree, but uh, I had this very thick fun foam on hand. I think I got this, you know, at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, but you can get fun foam at different places. I just cut different, uh, like, you know, uh, different shapes just so that I could fit it underneath this little truck. And then I'm gonna glue everything down in the middle of the sign. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. This next project is more of a bonus project more than a Valentine project. I had found some of the mini cutting boards at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to use it. So I decided to use it in this project. But like I said, it's not just for Valentine's. You could make little gifts out of them or make one for yourself. So I decided to make a small recipe card holder. Okay, so um, I have this... Uh, checkered red and white um, and denim scrapbook paper of course from Hobby Lobby and you can't get any more country than that I tell you I love all of this checkered and denim and all that good stuff gingham it has my heart uh, anyway so what I did is I was going to take off the paper of that mini um, cutting board but it wouldn't come off so you know I'm just making this for YouTube for video purposes so I, you know it just really didn't matter I was going to do the iron on um, method for Mod Podge but it didn't work the paper didn't stick I don't know if it's something that I'm doing or if it's just this this surface that I'm trying to put it on anyway but I mean it works on other things but it just didn't work on that so I used my Elmer's glue gun I mean my Elmer's glue stick uh, to stick everything down all the paper to this and uh, so then now what I did is I just ripped off a part of the denim paper and I like that you know ragged edge because I think that looks really country too and so I'm just um, you know cutting that around and then I will attach that to the bottom of the mini cutting board just with some uh, of that Elmer's glue stick and then I'm going to put on uh, some jute around the top um, oh I failed to mention be to get the hole in the top of the uh, you know the paper I just use my three fourths inch hole puncher it is a little bit bigger than the hole but because this is a rustic country project it was okay with me now other people may want it to be exact but it, this was okay it's a three-fourths in, inch hole punch and uh, so I just attach that paper there to the bottom and then now I'm just going to start uh, wrapping on my jute and I just wrap it around several times at the top, at, you know, kind of the neck of the top of the cutting board. For my clip at the top of my little mini mess, uh, recipe board, I have these burlap flowers that have a mini clothespin on them. Now, I got these maybe last year uh, at Hobby Lobby, you know, after the Easter season. But since that season's coming up, we're going to be finding these things. And they're just so stinking cute. And so what I did uh, before I glued that clip on, what I did is I took my brown ink 
ink and I did some distressing around the uh, cutting board then now I'm taking my fine sharpie marker and just adding some black doodling uh, you know what I like to do for my projects okay um, the reason I have my Cricut spatula there is because I wanted to stick that clothespin up underneath there and I needed to lift up my jute and that Cricut spatula worked great for that. Okay, so then I kind of, you know, struggled with what to say. You know, you there's so many things you can say. So I just hand lettered, baked with love. And then I'm going to be doing the torn uh, around the edges of the paper and this is just white cardstock and so I just gave the jagged edge and just ripped it around and um, like when I get to this point I'm like eh, you need to make it a little bit smaller because it was kind of hard to handle so I advise uh, you know making it a little bit smaller so you can handle it a little bit better if you like this kind of look and so then um, I you know just continue to rip the edges just to give that corn torn look and then I take my uh, brown ink and then I'm like yeah I want it to be a little bit more rustic so I just crinkle it up I just bend it back and forth and then I just take my brown ink and just go all over it and that gives it that country distress look I hope that you have enjoyed these Valentine DIYs that I put together for you today. Don't forget to go over to Catherine's channel. I will have it easy for you to click over, look at the at the end of this video uh, at, on the end screen. You can just click over there or a link in the description box will be to Catherine's channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. You have a great day and God bless.